Hello, 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 and welcome. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this guy. Or at least something similar to it, if you want. But yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we got to do is we got to find a spot that we want to build it in, okay? This seems like a pretty good spot, but it's not exactly what we're looking for. So we got to terraform a little bit. I'll speed that up. Okay, now that we've cleared that area and we made sure it has no plants, we have to make sure it's the proper size, alright? Just to do that, we can quickly just place down a bunch of blocks. Blocks that don't really matter, just to measure it. Perfect. It is exactly what we're looking for, except for maybe this side. So, we can fix that very easily. And... Voila! Now it'll be perfect, alright? So, let's get a block that we want for the outline. Alright? And just place it here as a placeholder. Uh, I'm gonna use Deep Slate. I prefer the Bricks Deep Slate, just because. Alright, and we can just go ahead and delete all of this. Here we go, blah, blah, blah. Alright. Alright, cool. We have our two spots. We also know that this is going to be the middle of our structure. Kind of. Our middle, this is going to be an even structure, so our middle will be these two blocks. Alright. Now. First and foremost, we need to measure 12 in, alright? Perfect. We have our 12 in. We are going to need these bricks, alright? And stone brick, uh, stone brick stairs, alright? So, first and foremost, here we go. In it. Yep. We're looking to get a 4x4, four four, okay? Once we fill that in, we can get this platform. But wait! This doesn't look like a farm. Where's the water? Alright. There's something I didn't tell you. Down below, we need to have water here, okay? Is it probably best that you do it before you do the stairs? Absolutely. Do I care? Uh, no. <laughs> Things happen out of order all the time when you build. It's fine. Alright. Oh, wait. I have a water bucket in my inventory. Alright. Boop, 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 boop. Alright, so you're just going to put it along the edge here. Alright. Now, there's one last very important detail that you need to know. Alright. And that is... How to make sure this doesn't show up when you till the land, because, lo and behold, if you till the land right now, boop, oh look, there's a gap, alright? So, what we're going to do is we're going to get slabs of the same structure, alright? Stone brick. And we're going to put that in. Do, 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 do. And since it's just a slab, it waterlogs the slab, making it so that uh, the water source still, like, exists, okay? But it, it looks nicer, alright? There we go. Now we can just place all of this back. Now, we have this. And we want to make sure we know where the front of our... Uh, farm should be. Do we want the front to be over here? Do we want the front to be over there, there, or there? We have four options, okay? Don't judge me. We have four options. Now, if you have a giant build over there and you want to be able to look at your farm and be like, oh, that's the front of my farm, uh, then you should build the statue facing this way. Alright? That's what I'm going to do 
just for this uh, demonstration. I learned how to do this statue uh, on YouTube specifically uh, from a video done by uh, a YouTuber named Phelps. Um, I took what he did and I kind of changed it a little bit. We're building this out of andesite, all right? If you would like any other building materials, that's on you. You can do whatever you want, all right? This one's going to be made out of andesite. Now, the main structure is going to be in these two columns or rows, whatever you want to call them, all right? So, this is the back foot. Goes up, goes out, goes like that, all right? This is the front foot. Goes out, goes up. Wait. Oh, wait, no. Goes like that, and then goes there. All right? Cool. And now we have the main body. All right? So this is the torso, and then this is the head. All right? Now, from here, we want the statue holding the hoe, because he is the farming god on this side just because it, it's a nice counterbalance okay and this this acts as like a nice arm and it looks cool okay now andesite's not my favorite i don't think it's anyone's favorite however it looks good in this now something that i thought was great was adding mud mud and iron all right you could have whatever precious metal hoe you want I just chose iron because it worked, all right? But there's our statue. This is the most important part of our farm. He is the farm god. He is what gives us all of the bountiful crops, all right? Trust in him. Now, something to do before you do anything else, we need uh, lanterns. Lanterns and uh, pressure plates. Stone. And iron all right stone 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 now part of this is because of the light levels so that nothing spawns also it just adds a little bit of extra texture to the structure itself which I think is uh it's nice it's just like oh wow there's something a little bit more to that like it looks it looks a little off and it catches my eye that's just because of these things. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build our circle, okay? Now, this circle is <laughs> given to you by circlegenerator.com, I think. I don't know. Where I like to make my circles is on uh, donutstudios.com, all right? Do, 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 do. Cool. So on the screen right now, you should see a little circle. That circle is the one that we're going to be using. This website itself is actually pretty fantastic, because if you look at it, if you look at it, you can have circles of many different sizes, all right? It's fantastic. I love it. It's as simple as just like, clicking the fourth circle. Sometimes it's actually already pre-selected. And then picking whatever width you want. We want 32. 32 all right so these are the dimensions we're going to go for eight three no eight four three and then two a bunch and then back at it okay i'm going to quickly make that circle and we'll 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 get back to it okay So what's important here is that we have that color contrast. We have a very light color right here, and it's contrasted with the dark platform. But we also want to we want to contrast on the outside as well, okay? 
So this dark color here really makes the rest pop, all right? But I think you're wondering, how are we going to get this all to be farmland? Well, if you remember, we had a bunch of pillars. Those pillars were cleverly hiding the water. Now those pillars, uh, one of them is going to be here. You go, you go to the middle one, all right? You go to the middle one, two in. All right, so it's one, two, three, four, five. Out of these five, it's the middle one, two in. All right, these are going to be your tall pillars, okay? These pillars, uh, they look nice and they stand out, all right? But a majority of this is going to be your small pillars, which if you go here, is in line with this, two in, all right? There we go. See, one, two, in. One, two, in. Ta-da! These are where your water sources are going to be. All right? Now, here's something very important. You can do this in whatever shape you want. I chose a circle because it's the most interesting for me. It's nice having it go in a circle all around. Even the pillars are in a circular formation. Um, but you don't have to. If you want a square, you could do a square. If you want a triangle, you could do a triangle. If you can. Um, if you want to do a rectangle, you could do a rectangle. What matters is that you're building something that you love, alright? That's what truly matters. Now, for this, uh, we need to go... Wow, that was aggressive. That was just all capitals. We need to go to slabs and deep slate tile, alright? Uh, we're also going to go to the deep slate and get deep slate bricks and deep slate brick stairs. Uh, we're also going to need a deep slate fence, brick wall, fence thing. Yeah. And uh, anvil. Oh, oh yeah. And lanterns. Cool. Cool. All right, so first things first, we fill every single one of these holes with water, all right? Simple enough, easy to do. No! Okay. Cool. Splendid. Now, each one of these is going to have a deep slate tile, all right? Just on top, so the water's still there, okay? Now, we haven't even started planting yet, and here's the reason why. What we're doing right now is we're creating uh, a reach. See, this, this tower, this statue, only had a reach of four out, all right? So it would have only been able to go this far out uh, in really any direction, okay? These add the extra distance. They add four tiles this way, and then just a few towards the edge. You can make this a bigger circle. Definitely. Uh, but you don't have to if you don't want to. All right? So the small pillars, the small ones, are simple. All right? All right, if you don't mess up. They're simple. Just... Oh! <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> these are pretty simple. They're just a single wall with a lantern on top of it. And if you don't miss, then it, it goes so much faster. Oh my gosh. There we go. Wall, lantern. Wall, lantern. Okay, cool. Now, the way I like to do this is whichever way this is facing is whatever way the anvil will be placed. All right, because they place sideways, okay? You can have them this way or that way. There's two ways for an anvil to place. I like them to be in line with this. So, we're going to have two of these and two blocks. We destroy the bottom one and we place an anvil, okay? And then we surround this with steps. And we cover those steps in lanterns. Alright, and we're going to do that four more times. Alright, 
now that that's done, we can start tilling all the land that we have, okay? This is the easy part. It's nice, methodical, but the only tool that you should really use for it is a netherite hoe, because we all know farming is the most important thing in this game, all right? So, you can just start tilling all the land very methodically, one layer at a time. Oh, make sure to get everything that you miss. I'll speed this up. Okay, now that all of your land is tilled, all right, we need to figure out what orientation we want the crops in. We also need to figure out what crops we want, okay? So, for this kind of setup here, melons and pumpkins aren't going to be very ideal because they take extra space, okay? Now, what we can do is we can look at pom uh, potatoes, all right, carrots, Wheat and beets. Now, something else that you could do, which I did on my farm, is replace one of them with nether warts, uh, which would require you to get soul sand. So, soul sand. Freaking TikTok. All right. Now, there's a lot of different ways that you could organize this, okay? You could go diagonally out from the uh, from the edges, all right? So, if you want this, I would, you know, place wheat here, all right? And then do the same thing on this side, diagonally out, figuring it out. Now, this, this in and of itself is going to leave a little row in the diagonal that is undone you can pinwheel it around by just placing uh the crop that you just did onto that section and then this next one would have let's say beets okay so you know these are placed here and then they get the next middle one you know kind of like that and so on and so forth okay now, what I did was I wanted to have it, you know, splash a little bit. I wanted it to look nice. And I, I was kind of inspired by the yin-yang symbol. So I, I had four different crops in here. You could do as many or as few as you want. Uh, if you want it to look super nice, um, I would honestly suggest keeping it down to, like, two. Like, if, if you want, like, a really good yin-yang symbol... Having it at two would probably be best. Uh, that way you could also do like the little circle in the other one of the other crop, you know. Which should look, I think that would look really cool and I think that's what we're going to do today. So, for this, we'll do wheat. And we don't care about, uh, we don't care about beets, alright. What we're going to do is wheat and potatoes. Alright. Now, the way we want to do this is we want to figure out our curve, okay? Uh, I think the curve that I had was this. No. Something a little different. But this, this doesn't seem very curved, okay? That seems a little more curved, but uh, there we go. That seems even more curved. All right. Getting rid of that and calling that good, right? 
Now, if we want this to be the way we do it, we have to find the counterpoint over here and do the same thing with our other crop, potatoes. So, it's going to go one in on the corner, one in on the corner, two, two. This one's going to go down three, one, two, three. And then in, in, and then it's going to have three, and then four, diagonally, three, and then four. All right. Now with that out of the way, we have our two curves, okay? We need to figure out where our circles are going to be, okay? And we could go back to our circle generator and create a very small circle, probably something like a four, no, five. Yeah, I think a five by five circle would be great. All right. That would work fairly well with this, I think. Uh, I want my circle to be right here. All right. So... If that's like the general middle, I'm gonna have to get rid of some of these crops just so that I can see what I'm doing. But I can start building out, right? Now, this this is showing me that it's a little bit too far that way. Uh, so I need to bring this in a little bit. There we go. But we have this, uh, this, this, and this, all right? Now that looks like a good circle for this yin-yang, all right? And it's just, it's one off of this one. So we're going to go over here. Oh, yeah. We're going to go over here. And we're going to do the same thing. But with wheat. See? There you go. And now we just fill in the rest of the crops. Okay. slightly see what's going on uh but they're not fully grown so the full contrast isn't really here yet uh now that it's done all you have to do is wait or you could bone meal it if you were really impatient um but i'll skip ahead to when it's fully grown all right so once your crops have fully grown uh you'll see it's kind of like prevalent here you can see what's going on with the pattern but if you look above Oh, it looks so nice, and it's it's lovely. Uh, the only thing I'd probably change is I would extend the curve a little bit um, so that they kind of bleed into each other. Uh, but other than that, like, this is good to go. So that, let's actually see what that would look like, all right? So if we extended this a little bit, right... That would that would go there. I broke those three, so I'm gonna break these three. Let's get some bone meal, which I definitely didn't just have and grew all these crops. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's so much smoother. Oh my gosh, that that made a world of difference. Look at that. Oh, see, it's okay to make mistakes. You learn from them. See, now that I now that I know this, I would probably move this circle in a little bit, you know? But it's it's all a part of the process and it, it looks lovely and people will be very jealous of this farm. They'll be like, Wow, you did an amazing job and it looks fantastic. How'd you do it? And you could tell them that you learned it from Envy Tech. I hope this was helpful. 
Make sure that you have lots of fun building farms. I know I do. It's my favorite part of Minecraft. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I look forward to showing you more farms. Uh, if there's anything else you want to see specifically, uh, please shoot me a comment, and I will look into making it. Alright, hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.